Have you ever been told everything happens for a reason or they're in a better place now? If you have, then congrats. You are just like everyone else in the world who has been told those anxiety producing platitudes. Like, great, everything happens for a reason because you got a great parking spot at Target to get only one small item as you get a big shopping cart. Or, great, they're in a better place now as you learn that Ronald Reagan died in 2004. Sure, he's in a better place now. If you've been told one of these platitudes, which you have because you are a human, then that also means you're a theologian. You might reject being called a theologian. You might think, Mason, I'm not a theologian because I don't have a degree in theology. Or, Mason, I'm not a theologian because I don't believe in God. Or, Mason, I'm not a theologian because I'm not an annoying white man. Okay, fair. You may not be a theologian because of those specific reasons, but you are a theologian because you are a human. And that means that theology should matter to you. I'm Mason Menega, and today I'll be talking about three reasons why theology should matter to you. Before we jump in, be sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. And also let me know what you think about the video in the comments. All right, before jumping into three reasons why theology should matter to you, it is probably important to talk about what theology even is. If you are either from Greece or you were forced to take Greek because you went to Bible college, then you will know the theo and theology means God and the ology and theology means the study of. So theology literally means the study of God. In addition to this definition, Anselm, yes, the guy who invented that bullshit penal substitution theory of atonement, he defined theology as faith seeking understanding. But the problem with defining theology as the study of God or faith seeking understanding is not all people who do theology believe in God and even more do not have a specific faith. There is so much more to theology than just studying God and faith and being a condescending asshole. So I think a better definition of theology and the one I'll be using for this video is the study of ultimate things. And what I mean by ultimate things are the things that are transcendent and beyond just our individual selves. So with that definition of theology, here are three reasons why theology should matter to you. The first reason why theology should matter to you is that we all have thoughts and questions about ultimate things. It doesn't matter if you are an atheist, Christian, Buddhist, or even a Nickelback fan. We all think about ultimate things in life. For some of us, that means we think about God. For others, it means we think about what is the point of life. And even for others, it means we think about why there is evil, suffering, and Calvinists in the world. All these thoughts and questions deal with ultimate things. They are big thoughts and questions. And the great thing about theology is there are so many people who have wrestled with these thoughts and questions. Learning what those people have to say about their wrestling with these thoughts and questions can be helpful as you wrestle with them as well. They may give you language for something you couldn't quite put into words before, they may help you rethink something you've thought about or questioned before. They may even give you new thoughts and questions altogether. Regardless, theology is rich with resources to help you wrestle with the big, ultimate thoughts and questions that we all wrestle with. The second reason why theology should matter to you is because what we believe about ultimate things, like God, shapes the way we behave in the world, even politically. If you've ever wondered why there are so many Christians who only vote Republican, well, it's not out of a vacuum. Besides completely ignoring Jesus' teachings, these Christians vote that way because of what they believe theologically, not in spite of it. They believe God is all-powerful and that his justice means that he will send people to hell who do not believe in the right theology. And I use he and him here because these straight white men are weirdly obsessed that God has a penis. So if that's what they believe about God, it isn't surprising then that they vote as if God is all powerful and will send millions of people to hell if they don't have the exact right theology. But they aren't the only people whose theological beliefs shape the way they behave. Your theology does as well. It may not be as obvious to you, but what you believe about God or ultimate things shapes the way you behave in the world. If you believe the only point of life is to make a lot of money, then you may be Jeff Bezos, and that ultimate belief shapes the way you hoard your wealth. And while I have you watching my video, Jeff, your spaceship looks like a circumcised penis. 
The third and last reason why theology should matter to you is because theology matters because matter matters. Besides sounding like some clever seminary student, when I say that theology matters because matter matters, I mean actual matter, the stuff that makes up the entire universe. I believe there is something sacred that is intrinsic to the very stuff that makes up the universe. From the electrons that make up particles, to the particles that make up cells, to the cells that make up your anus, it is all sacred. So if the very stuff that makes up the universe is sacred, then theology matters because what we believe about ultimate things should align with this intrinsic sacredness of matter. This means we should care about our bodies and about the earth. Many of you who grew up in evangelicalism were taught your body, your flesh, is to be distrusted, and the earth is something to be escaped by going to heaven. These beliefs about bodies and the earth may have caused you to hate and hurt your body and the bodies of others, and even to hurt the planet. But if our bodies, all of our bodies, and the planet is sacred because all of matter is sacred, then we should deeply care for them. Theology matters because matter, including our bodies and the planet, matters. So there you have it. Three reasons why theology should matter to you. Theology should matter to you because we all have thoughts and questions about ultimate things. Because our beliefs about ultimate things shape the way we behave and because matter matters. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and also tell me what you thought about it in the comments. If you'd like to support more of my work, check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Mason Menega. Also check out my podcast of People's Theology wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, to be in your body is to be in God.